Now, now, now that you're a rookie, you signed this two point three million dollar deal. How did it feel like when you join now? You join it. You join the NFL. Everything that you've been through. And did you sign this deal in your rookie your rookie year, right? Yeah, that was my rookie year. That was my rookie. How year. did that feel right there? Now, now you in there now, bro. Yeah, I mean that's went from sleep under the couch to two point three million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a it was a big it was a big boost, right? It was a big jump. Um, big jump. That, and that's why I was talking about those levels, right? And I jumped up mm -hmm. to that level, and I feel like it was through that moment and that couch moment to where I truly, fully felt that you know I burst through that next echelon of what I, I've always wanted in my life and and my drive and. And I truly believe that you put out good in the world, you're gonna get good back. And that was the manifestation of who I was and my faith. It held me to that. Mm -hmm. And so my words was true and it came true. And it was just me in that light. And when I like signed a deal, it was just like, man, like what the world we just enter into because there's no going back to the ramen mm. noodle days. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like right. we in the steak now. We in the, you know, filet mignon, like the A5 Japanese Wagyu type stuff, you know? Right. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> and it just hit me into the point where like, I'm always going to have those humble beginnings because I know where I come from, but I'm not going to get too much outside of myself to where I'm not humbled. And so I just became something of Man, I got my first check and it was just like ten thousand dollars. I didn't know what to do with it. I literally just looked at it and it was like, man, now I truly wow. can go in the store and get what I want. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> like I had it in my hand and it, yeah. it didn't hit me until probably after that year that like I'm I'm okay. I'm mm -hmm. all right. Like, I'm fine. And lo and behold, like I got family members, so everybody coming out of the woodworks, and I'm starting to see that my second year. So it's like, <laughs> dang, <laughs> I mean, I it's a lot I of money, but it's not that I much, right? I have. Huh? <laughs> I said it's a lot of money, but it's not that much. The it ain't, family members come out, right? It ain't, and I, that's why I started to see, like, gosh, it ain't like my whole little fairy tale like moment <laughs> just went away in the blink of an eye. Like mm -hmm. my second year, it was just like, dang, bro, like. My financial advisors try to save the little that I did have. And I'm just like, bro, like we can't like live this way. I can't save half of my check. That's just not like, like it's not working for me. Right. And so like that whole thing was a whole um, debacle, debacle, but like we got it fixed. And so me just dealing with that in my second year, being frustrated because I'm not playing, I'm not starting. You know, I'm behind somebody, you know, and I'm looking at that like real So you didn't start your first year? You didn't start? My first uh, year I started. We talking about my second mm. year now. My first year mm. I started. So I came in, I played, you know, um, I had dreads. I cut it. And in my mm. first game I played with uh, Mike Evans and, you know, and, and we played the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers. Yeah. And so I ended up playing, 30, well, 12, 13 games that year. And I got sat down towards the end. And I was playing that position, but I didn't own it. You know, I was renting space. And I was playing eight yards, 10 yards off guys and let them catch hitches and catch balls in front of us and not really challenging people because I didn't kind of get the whole concept of me playing off somebody for this like long eight yards and just, you know, breaking on routes. I never truly really did that in college. Right. And so, so my there's first a big difference year, from the yeah. NFL to college now. It was, and so I had to find my position in that space, and I didn't own it. Like I said, I was like almost a rental coming in. It's never truly yours. You're always paying someone. And so mm -hmm. for me, I was just playing a position, but not really truly owning it for myself. And so I had to like go through Damascus Road in the sense of, you know, um, getting extra coaching, coming in at 6 a.m., before everybody else come and aid and get with my coach and going through different routes and techniques and how he wanted me to play. He was truly a, a teacher of the game, so it kind of helped me. But like getting up super early in the morning, I, I hate mornings. <laughs> like right, right, right. I would roll in and sometimes late and like I had a chef, like he actually would bring me my food and stuff. It was so crazy because it was just like, I had to actually be on a regiment. I had a regiment 
And right. I would be there from 6 a.m. to like 6 p.m., like meeting with the coach and doing through the trainings and everything we had to go through and being there extra at the field. So it was pretty much a whole 12 hour day for me. Um, my first year and going into my second year, it's kind of still, you know, got a little shorter, but it still was that long training and working out and going through and meeting with your coaches. And so after they set me down that first year, you know, I came back in a more of a, you know, mindset of, oh, shoot, now I'm coming. I want to be a, I want to be a starter now. I want to start getting my position back, my starting role back. And you know, they had brought somebody else in, Antoine Kaysen and some other guys they brought in. And and so I was playing with Gamble my first year. Gamble left mm -hmm. my second year. And so they brought in Kaysen and and some other guy. Um, I forget his name at the moment. But they end up playing that first year, that second year. And they started season out. And for me, I was clearly the better, like, guy and winning the reps in training camp to like right. play the position, but it didn't happen. <laughs> wow. It didn't happen. And so therefore uh, I went through that season and, you know, I didn't get much um, action at all to that, to that sense. And so- Wasn't this your second year? Was this the, the year that uh, was mis miscommunication on a, on a, a coverage? And, yeah, that uh, was the year, mis miscommunication on a coverage. I got in the game, it was miscommunication. and. It, and kid you not, it was with the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was with the Buffalo Bills. And the quarterback, EJ, I think, uh, number three, he was playing for them at that time. He was from Florida State. He came in, and it was like a banger route. It was a crossing route. And so me oh, and- EJ Manuel, right? EJ, EJ Manuel, Manuel and me and DJ yeah, Moore, three. number 20 out of 24, we were supposed to switch on this route. And I was so locked in that I didn't really get the switch. And so I ended up going, my guy, his guy came off and he just dropped it right over our head. And I look back, six, game over. And so, like, I didn't see the field the rest of the year. <laughs> like, I was in the dog house, dog house. He sat you down. He, he sat, sat down. us down and clearly didn't see the light of day again for that whole year. Wow. And I literally was on, like, I was on P-Squad, so it was like they still had me on active roster money, So, but I was practicing on practice squad. Like I was showing reps for the other, you know, for the offense. Man. So I was going against Steve Smith every day. Yeah. And I was pissed. Like I was hot. And like really, we didn't even speak for three months because of it, because it was just like, I was so getting into him. And like he came to me one time after practice. He was like, like, I get you angry and I get you frustrated, but like, don't take it out on your teammates, bro. Who coach coach came to you? No, no, no. Steve. We had, oh, Steve we had to yeah, he he had like talked to me and like we had a moment. Because we ain't talked for a long time because I literally was high. Like, I really made sure that you didn't like approach me. Right. Like that's how mad I was, and let them know. Unapproachable at that like, moment. At that moment, I was shut out. Like you can't talk to me. I was literally about to get into it, me in DC, like to blows, physicality. And so I really shut them out, and I was just on the press. So I was just working my technique, knowing that I was better than these cats, and just that whole year it was just a wash. That was a trying moment for me, and I was just like, I had to talk to God. I was like, you know, like why? Why am I here? Why you bring me here for this? If this truly is what I am supposed to do, like you have to give me a sign or something because I'm ready to get up out of here and, and do something else because I, I put too much into it. And so I talked to my agent at the time. was just like, yo, we got to do something different. So my third year came in into coming into it again. Um, you got starts I, now. You still you started some games in your third year of Carolina, right? So my no. third, no, 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 third year, I didn't, I didn't play. I was still in the doghouse. So after the second still year, doghouse. yeah, I was still in the doghouse. So at the beginning of that year, they still like had people in front of me during the training camp, and like I was still second string. So I had to like, you know, I humbled myself in a sense of, like this year is gonna be different. You know, I'm not gonna come out here. My whole energy is gonna be different. Even when they do something today, I know that gets under my skin they don't like. I'm just gonna smile, like like have a good face on, like almost like a right. joker. But knowing inside, like I'm cussing them and I'm saying so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving them the business, but they're never gonna see it. Right. And so I'm playing the game. It's a game within the game. 
And so I learned how to play that my third year. And then it's just like, Steve Smith is no longer with us. He was Baltimore Ravens. My Ravens now. And so that whole thing transpired. Thomas Davis and them at the time, they like, listen, bro, like, we got to get Jay on the field somehow, some way. Like, we playing against Steve Smith. He know these guys. I had Melvin White and some other guy in front of me. And he like, Steve Smith, he coming. We got to get Jay in the game this year. Like, we got to get him to start. And so I didn't start, but I dressed out. Mm, okay. I didn't start, but I dressed out. I still in Coach Talkhouse. And so Steve Smith came out and did his thing. He racked up like 150 yards, almost 150 yards in the first half. Two tuts. Wow. Like, got the game blow wide open. And so me coming in, I coach talked to me at halftime. I was like, hey, we got to get you in this ring. We got to get you in. We got we to get you in the game. And so for me, um, he's like, you get in and don't come out. <laughs> so right. <laughs> that right there, it set in. And literally, I got in the game and me and Steve, he looked at me, I looked at him and we got at it. <laughs> and he I think he it. ended up like, he played that third quarter and then at fourth, at first, beginning of the first, fourth quarter, um, he got out. Uh, he had probably like two catches and like 30 yards mm -hmm. and he got out. And so from that moment on, I kind of like evolved and evolved and got better and got better. And I played the rest of the year out. And then um, I think I got better in that third year than I did in my fourth year. Because when that fourth year came, mm -hmm. that's when the dark night stuff started to come through. Well, that's when he came out. Like, like towards the end of my third year, the, like... The dark night, it kind of that mantra of saving the city kind of kind of took off in the sense of the Queen City of Charlotte. Like I would perch over it and look down upon my foes. That's yeah. when like the whole dramatic, like dramatic art side of theater came out of me. And that fourth year was like, it didn't matter who you was. That That's the year you guys were, went to the playoffs now. That's the year we went to the Super Bowl. We went to the playoffs those last, the three years that I was there. We went to uh, NFC South um, Conference Championship. Or, yeah, NFC South Conference Championship three years in a row. And my fourth, uh, um, my fourth year was when there was a negotiations with me. But it got out of hand. Was that, <laughs> was that fourth year? Fast. The fourth year of... Uh... The, the Super Bowl year? Yeah, that was a Super Bowl year for us. Was it, what was your record? The record was like, what, 15 and 1? Was that, that Yeah, that it was record? that 15 and 1 year. 15 and 1 record, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that was that 15 and 1 year. Oh, man. Yeah, that part. I wanted you, to, I wanted you, I was really rooting for you guys in that one. <laughs> that was a Jay Z bar year. <laughs> right, I'm getting to that now. Yeah, so, okay. but like, that was that year that literally, like, everything happened that, like, um, like, I don't even say multiplied times 10, it happened that year. That was even with my girl. Like I had a girl like that I really wanted from the time I saw her all the way up until that year it happened. Everything that transpired for me just took off in a blaze of fire and it went north fast. Fast. Real fast. Like <laughs> it was that because of the Super Bowl now that's added on to it. How did that how did everything feel? Like you're 15 and one, you get there. Yeah, but like even that year going into it, like we didn't realize that it was going to happen that way, you know, because like that was that year me and Cam like, you know, fighting and training camp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that oh, was that shit. whole thing. <laughs> <too. Damn. laughs> it was that year. That's what a lot I'm of saying. highlights I remember you from. <laughs> it was a lot of highlights. Before was the game. There <laughs> was a lot of things going on. That's why I said like it all transpired my whole entire like it was a movie scene. It really was like, because that year, like we ended up coming in, we knew it was going to be a great defense, but we didn't know what we was going to be on offense, mm -hmm. you know? And so we ended up having that moment where in practice, like Cam just was like torching us one day and like, it wasn't really torching us. We just wouldn't plan up to what we normally would do. We just, be, yeah. we just basically rolled up out of bed and showed up. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we didn't brush our teeth. We didn't wash our <laughs> face. We just went out there early and just showed up. And so, when that happened, he was yelling and all oh, this, you know, how Cam and he was like, ah, oh, and like, like hitting us. And like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, yeah, check ourselves. 
we are the number one defense in the league. Like, let us go back and do this. So let us brush our teeth and wash our face and get us together, you know? And so right. when that happened, like, Thomas, Dave, Luke Keith, these guys, like, looked at each other and, like, even um, Kurt Coleman looked at each other and um, Roman, Harper, and, like, yo, let's get our stuff together. Let's get our shit together. So right. we did. We buckled up. I came in the slot and Cam, I ended up going against Philly. And so he ran a route. I undercut it. And I saw it kind of the whole way. Cam threw it because he was getting pressure up, up front. And so I ended up picking it off. Got it. Ran all the way back. <laughs> Cam coming by. I stiff on him in the face. And like literally went to the end zone. Slammed the ball. It was like, all right, now what? And so as soon as I turned around, shoot, big six five in my face, like, yo, listen, I see you score, but don't be throwing it up, don't put your hand in my face again like that. And I'm looking at him like, bro, who you talking to? Like, yeah. <laughs> I had a flashback. So we basically like at each other's face. And so I grabbed his face mask and like I pulled him down to my level. <laughs> and so right. he grabbed me. <laughs> and then I ended up hip tossing him. And that's probably where you saw his helmet coming off. His whole oh, offensive yeah. lineman came and bomb rushed me. I'm looking at my yeah. guys like, what's up? <laughs> 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 It's so up. It's so quarterback. <laughs> I don't care, bro. At that time, like I didn't even see anything. I just saw red, bro. Like it just took me back. And so, like we talked about it at, um, at the end of the day in the showers, and and so like I get it. Like we're gonna get at each other, but that's gonna make us better. That's gonna make us compete. That's gonna make us worthy of like the chance of actually fighting for a championship. And so that year, bro, the first four games, like we went on a tangent. Or I think we had like four picks in those four games and two tuts. Like it was just some crazy. And for me, it was just my evolution and evolving in the game. And not only that I rented space, but now I own it. Right. I made the position my own and I ended up doing a bail technique that I ended up perfecting to a point where you didn't think I was in cover three or man <laughs> because it ran together so well and we was a quarters team. So it just played into our strengths by trapping and I just ended up going into it with the defense. And now coaches writing in scripts for me and the defense for order for me to make a play. And so I'm end up saying myself, now I'm the number one guy on the squad with Luke and Thomas and all these guys. I'm a part of that group. KK Man. and Kawan and Short and like Charles Davis and freaking, we even had the cracking out that more. It was crazy. So it was just, we rose up to that, you know, to that talent level. And for us, we went on and that whole year we was unbeaten. That, that, that whole game in New York was crazy. 